What is up guys, it's your boy Shark, and welcome back to another episode of my Stardew Valley modded series. I believe this is episode 4, and today is going to be quite exciting because we are going to go and visit Ridgeside Village, the brand new village up in the mountains. We need to take a ride on the cable car to get up there, so this is going to be super exciting. Lots of new shops up there, lots of new people to meet, and stories, it's going to be incredible. And I think you guys are going to love it as well. So it's Thursday the 11th of spring. Tomorrow is a nice sunny day, just like today. Look is neutral, and it's Isabel's birthday today. Now you guys have been giving me some amazing suggestions down below in the comments, and one of them was about the fences. I did ask in the last episode, which fence you guys prefer, the, the dark wood, the light one, or the original? And surprisingly, a lot of you guys actually really like the light fence. Now I want to check to see if we can put both of these together. No we can't, so there will be a gap. A lot of you guys like the way these two contrast together, the dark and the white. So I think we're going to maybe mix them two around. We don't want to keep it all very dull and brown. These ones match the house, which is nice, but I feel like add a little bit of colour and contrast to the farm. It's going to be amazing. So yeah, I think we're going to use the light ones a little bit and uh, see how we get along with that. I've never used these white fences before, so it's going to be quite interesting to to see so I will put the ones that we crafted in the last episode just down here like so I quite like having the gaps here so it's easy to access but we do need the watering can we've got a lot of watering to do today oh it looks like we've got some crops to harvest as well so we have got some beautiful but no, I was gonna say potatoes parsnips there we go and we leveled up our farming finally so I believe we are now going to get some uh, recipes for fertilizer and things like that, which we do need. Anything else ready today? I don't think so. We've got another potato! Cabbage is not done. Okay, anything else here? Yeah, looks like we've got some more potatoes down here as well. It's a quite a good harvest day today and even more here. Now this is more like it. This is going to give us some good, good money. Now I need to keep remembering what we need for the bundles because I will just start <laughs> selling lots of stuff. So I'm pretty sure we're probably going to need potatoes, right? We've got a letter here from Lewis. How's your work going? As you restore your farm, no doubt you must feel a bit more connected to nature as opposed to before you arrived in town. Since you've shown interest in a more hands-on approach for living, here's a recipe for homemade brown sugar. Nice. And mum sent us cookies. I was hoping that would have been pink cake because pink cake's quite good for gifts. It's the lost axe from Robin as well, 250. If ever we're down there, we'll pick it up, I guess. So I'm going to keep hold of maybe the gold crops for now as well. We just don't know if we're going to need any gold quality crops. And also we're going to need like if he's asking for potatoes or parsnips, <laughs> it's probably going to be a lot of them. So I don't want to, I really don't want to sell things yet because I just don't know what the pantry is going to ask for. What crops, it's probably going to be potatoes and parsnips as well. So for now, I'm just going to sell some of the quality ones and we'll just see. We'll literally just need to see. So we just need, all we need to do is finish this spring forage bundle. And it will unlock the next one, or the pantry in the fish tank. So I need to get some daffodils and horseradish, and also the salmon berries. But <laughs> salmon berry season, actually, it's coming up soon, right? We've got to keep our eyes peeled for that. So I'm going to water these crops, and I'm going to get started with the day. Like I said, it's going to be exciting. We're going to Ridgeside Village. In fact, whilst I'm watering, another suggestion what I saw a lot was revolving around the dating. I was asking who we should date, and so many of you guys said, you know, maybe it's too soon to just pick one person to date because we want to get to know everybody and then we can make our mind up you know let's just let's not get married and be serious we're just gonna date around get to know a lot of people in town all the new people and let's just see who our favorite is i know a lot of you guys think olivia is a great idea because apparently she's got a very good story so we will dive into that and also around the spreadsheet that i was creating for you guys it should, hopefully, cross my fingers, be in the description right now for you guys if you want to find out what mods I am using right now to make my game look like this. Oh yeah, I don't know if we just saw that mod, but we can now walk through trellises. These here, let's see. Da-da! Look at that. No longer are we bumping into them, we can actually walk through all of them. I love it, because, you know, they are just sticks. Very easy to just squeeze through there like that. Oh, it's so cool. Love it. Another little mod that I added was a suggestion from you guys. So, watering can away. Yeah, we are lacking on a lot of stuff, like, we've not got much stuff for gifts or anything like that. It's going to be very tough to start getting friendship up with people this early on. But we have got a diamond, and I think, in the next episode, it is Olivia's birthday. Yeah, it'll be on the 15th. Today, we are going to end on the 14th, or maybe on the 15th. So, yeah, in the next episode, we're definitely going to give Olivia, the sexy new hot mama, a gift. She could be our sugar mummy. She's so rich. 
Right, I think it's time for Ridgeside Village. Yeah, I think let's go. Let's go for it. This is exciting. So this is Ian. Richard's a good boss, but I mean, I have lots of employers. It's a busy life. So he's just coming down from Ridgeside Village and we're just about to go into Ridgeside Village. So we've got to go up here, it's a nice path, make sure there's nothing to forage around here. But all we need to do guys, look, is go onto the cable car. And we can take a ride up through the mountains. Let's do it. Oh wow, look at this view. And here we go, wait, hold on, who's this? Is this a Junimo? There's a kiwi fruit in front of you. It moved? Shoo, kiwi, oh, look how cool he looks. <laughs> it's just in a flip, disappeared. It looks like some kind of Junimo, but like a special type, quite big as well. What, what was that? Was that a Junimo? What was it doing here? I don't know, but we will find out. So here we are, we are at Ridgeside Village. Look at the view, beautiful place. We can go right to the edge here, literally the ridge side, and take a little view. But we cannot waste time. We have got a lot to do. I don't even know how big this place is. But look, if you open up the map, it's actually got its own map now as well, which I love. And you can see all of the people here, the buildings. Oh my god, this place is huge. This is such a great mod. I really do love Ridgeside Village. So straight away, we've got a building here. I need to try and meet everybody. Oh, it's a trash can that we can check. Love that. We want to get to know everybody. So let's take a look around. What even is this place? This looks like a lot of computers here. Hey, look, already there's somebody here. Looks like these are going into Pelican Town. Alyssa. Oh, uh, hello, Sharky. How are you? Oh, me. Just busy with life as usual, I guess. So there we go. Maybe let's go up this way first. And let's enter the main town. Oh, we got a cutscene. Of course, look at this. We've already met this person in the first episode. Obviously, this is the Mayor Lewis's sister, was it? Yeah, Lenny. Hello there, Sharky. How was the cable car ride? It was beautiful. Welcome to Ridgeside Village. A village on the side of the ridge. <laughs> the slogan is a work in progress. I guess you finally read the letter he gave you. I'm the one and only Lenny. Please hold your applause until after the tour. I'm the Chief Administrative Officer of Ridgeside. It's a complicated way to say... She who does the paperwork. We don't get a lot of visitors from the outside, from outside the valley, so we're really happy to see you. Well, this place definitely looks better than Pelican Town. It's been a while since anyone lived in that crusty old cottage on Modder's Farm. It was owned by a good friend of mine, so I hope you'll take good care of it. Yeah, he's our grandpa. A good friend indeed. Let me show you around for a quick tour. Buckle up, buckaroo. All right, there we go, we got a tour. I mean, it's going to be good to get familiar with, you know, where everything is because it's going to be quite a big place. So straight away here, we've got the Log Cabin Hotel. It's a great place to relax after a long hike through the mountains. So can we sleep here? It has a private balcony for events and even a gym on the third floor if you're still not worn out after your hike. Wow, there's so many people here. This right here is the town square. It's the beating heart of the village. Folks like to hang around here and socialize with other townspeople, weather permitting. They've done such a good job with this mod, by the way. It's literally like a brand new game. It's like Stardew Valley 2, just here in Ridgeside. Up the stairs is where the magic happens. That's my office. It's made of wood, bricks, and paperwork. I occasionally visit Lewis regarding duties or, you know, just to tease him for taking himself too seriously. It's my Yoba given right as a, uh, his sister. Yoba? She mentioned the word Yoba again. Hey, look at this. I remember checking this mod out quite a long time ago, Ridgeside Village, um, when it was still very early in its development. And it seems like it's come such a long way now. Smell that? That's Pika's. The primary hub for Ridgeside cuisine. I like the dishes he serves and I love the atmosphere. Don't even get me started on the view. Don't look down though. If you do, don't blame me when you stop feeling nauseous. And wow, look at this. Feast your eyes on the Starbound stage. Robin and Clint helps us build this stage for gatherings and activities. It hasn't seen much use lately. It's a shame, to tell the truth. Local morale hasn't been all that great recently, either. There are rumours going around town about dangerous fruits and spooky ghosts. Oh god. I can assure you, those are nothing but rumours. The only dangerous fruit is a pumpkin during Spirit's Eve. There are several other farmers living in the village. Jerick's farm, the Blooming Hill farm, is located in the northwest. He must be made of mushrooms because he's a fun guy. <laughs> Get it? He sells useful farming products. We also have a nightingale orchid in the southwest, managed by Lydons and their niece, Alyssa. Yeah, we've met Alyssa. She is a sweet lady with a wonderful voice. She lacks the confidence to perform, unfortunately. 
perhaps someone special could help her find herself. Oh, so she's into her music, so she maybe could perform on this stage here and sing. We'll have to get to know her a little bit more. That concludes the grand tour. I wish you a warm welcome to the Valley Sharky, and an even warmer welcome to Ridgeside Village. That was incredible. So here we go, and there is Lenny as well. Sharky, nice to see you. I've just seen you. Managing the village can be quite a hassle sometimes, but the villagers make it all worth it. So let's take a look around here. So this is the map, of course. We've also got a sign, a village at the side of the ridge. If anyone could come up with you a better slogan, please contact me. <laughs> there's another trash can there. So there's a building straight away here. This is the odd job services. There's no one here near though. Nobody at home. So we can water crops. Oh, so we can get people to come and water our crops and fix fences and even pet animals. Oh my God. So this is Ian. Of course, he did mention in the last episode that he comes down to Pelican Town to do odd jobs. So guys, we can actually pay someone to water crops. We don't even need sprinklers. What the hell? This is crazy. We should definitely become friends with Ian. Oh, and his Sean as well. Ian and Sean. Yeah, these are the, uh, what are they called now? Handyman. So of course, this is the hotel that we saw earlier. Maybe we should go in there as well, the log cabin hotel. But let's take a look at some of the little houses because that's obviously gonna be the main one. There's a nice house here, this looks lovely. We've not met any, oh, this is the little doctor's. Health checkup for 500 and a stamina checkup. So yeah, look at that, energy is quite low right now. So for 500, we could maybe boost this up. Let's see, what this does this go to the top? I know it's 500 gold, but I do wanna test this out. How much does it give us? Oh, it's Paula, oh, she's kinda cute. All patched up. You should be more careful next time, okay? Yeah, we've got some stamina back up. Look at that. Is that. That's even quicker than going to the spa, but it's 500. Hello, Sharky. Have you been taking care of yourself? Guys, she's, she's quite nice. Hold on, let me see if we can uh, potentially date her as well. Well, no. Come on, Paula. No, she's not. Why are all the favorite ones taken? The story of my life. Right, okay. She's, uh, she's kind of cool, though. Another trash can. We have got a dandelion that maybe we can give someone. Oh, soggy newspaper. There's a house here, they've got some swings outside. Oh, okay. So we've already met Shiro. Hey there, Sharky, was it? I'm sorry, I don't get too many visitors. And we've already met Philip. Hello, sir. Doing well. Remember to stretch regularly. It'll decrease the chances of straining something. And this is Yuma. Yay, I saw Jazz and Vincent playing in the town earlier. They seem like they was having fun. Well, sometimes you go there as well. We've seen you around a few times. Oh, look, there's a strange doll there. As posters. Right, let's keep moving. This place is absolutely huge. There's so many people around here. Who's this here? Sean, so this is the other one. Ha, ah, I'm bored. Can I come check out your farm? I promise I won't step anywhere I shouldn't. <laughs> no, stay here. They've also got help wanted here as well. Oh, whoa. 3,000 gold. Richard wants caviar. Well, I'm sorry, we can't get any of that just yet. That's, <laughs> that's end game. Wow, that was a lot of money though. Jeez. Got another little house here. This is, what the hell? I don't know how to pronounce that. Han Yong Fei. She sells clothes? Oh, wow. But we can't get, oh, we can't be, we're not enough friends with her yet. Oh, look at this. We could buy shirts. I love that you can buy um, clothing here as well. That's so cool. Maybe we'll find a nice outfit eventually that we can buy. This place just goes on and on. I don't know what this is. I love how there's trash cans outside of the houses though. Oh look, this guy's fancy. Sunny, or Sonny. I wonder what the special dish is at Pika's today. This is some kind of mansion. Royalty right here, oh my God. This place is crazy. So you're not good enough friends with Irene? That just sounds like one of those names where she's very, very fancy. Oh, they've got an indoor pool, can we go in there? You shouldn't jump in, it's a private pool. This place is huge. Oh, there's somebody here, hold on. Is this Irene? Yeah, there she is. Hey there, Sharky. So this is, must be a married couple and this is their house. They've got some big money. Irene and Sonny, look at the dining room. They have a feast here. This house is beautiful. Oh, there's a, somebody here as well. Louis, oh my God, he looks like a posh kid. Excuse me, do you mind? I have things to do. And that does not involve speaking with you. Oh yeah, they're full of themselves, guys. We don't belong here. Araya? Dressing properly is a must when you go to the mansion. Grandmother wouldn't approve of dressing sloppily. <gasps> look at her there. This place is crazy. Let's have a look. Maeve. Can't you see I'm on the phone? Where are your manners? Oh my god, yeah. So obnoxious. What is it with people who've got tons of money and living royalty? Talking down to us like that. Keep your mansion. I'm happy with my farm cabin. 
It's cozy, all right. There's like some kind of old truck here as well. Right, we can go down. Is this a greenhouse? There's a mine cart here. Cart broken. It's broken, better not touch it. Look at all the fish here. Oh my God, we should have brought a rod. There's some awesome fish up here. Look at them. Yeah, we definitely need to bring a rod around here. This looks like a nice little fishing place too, to be honest. There's a little house here. Let's see who's inside. Uh, nobody. But this is definitely some fisherman. You can see. Is that a shrine? Yoba again. Yoba's altar. Recently lit candle. So obviously Yoba must be the god of like, you know, Pelican Town, Starley Valley. We've got Bert. Pika sure cooks a mean pasta. Yeah, we're gonna see him in a minute. He knows how to cook food from a bunch of different regions. I hear his little boy knows how to cook as well. I better tell Trini to start learning too. Trini's dad, there we go. So we can go further down. I can't believe how crazy this is. There's Trini, by the way. So this is where Trini lives with her dad. What's up with Yuma these days? Do you know? No. You just stopped talking to us out of the blue. Oh, she's crying. That's so rude. Oh, Trini, we'll, we'll find out. So this is where they live. Is it just Trini and her dad, Bert? Or do they have Trini and Bert? Okay. Oh, Bert or Olga. So there's a, there's a family. Mum, dad and daughter. Okay. Oh, look, they've got horses here. Nice stable. I love the stable, by the way. How it's extended like that. Awesome. Who's this? Kihahi. I saw Yuma the other day. I, invest I invited him over to play, but he just walked away. What's the matter with him? He's so weird. What is going on with him? Look at this. This is the orchid. Oh, the cows and everything. I've got obviously the mods for them, so they've changed. Fruit trees. This is an awesome farm. Oh my god, we just found largemouth bass in the, the trash can there. Let's take a look who owns this then. Is anybody at home in Ridgeside Village, or does everyone spend the time outside? Oh, a song written by Alyssa. You look at me as if I'm the only girl around. You make me feel important and never let me down. Maybe, I think Alyssa might be quite a good person to get to know as well, actually. I like the uh, the old music side of things. Obviously, we had... Oh, there's something there to forage. Was it Sam who was into music? We got a rich cherry. Nice. Right, we can extend the farm. It goes around. I see someone there as well. Uh, there's a house here with park. They've got some strawberry bushes. Yeah, almost as much as my garden. I've got tons of strawberries growing right now. No one else here as well. But I do see some... Is this an old lady? Oh, it's, oh it's, my bad, Freddy. Oh, my bad, Freddy. I'm sorry. It was, it was the perm. It looks like you've got a little perm from the outside. The waterfalls around the village are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, they are. We're lucky to live here. You are. Look at this. Beautiful view, by the way. What a nice place to live. Richside Village is beautiful. I'm jealous. I want to live here. We should move, guys. Imagine if you could actually buy a house down here, like a new farm. That'd be so cool. Turtle. Someone's got a pet turtle. What the hell? It's torts. Licks turtle lips. Oh, there's someone there as well. Can we go around? Oh, look at the chickens. Right, here we go. We have got Lorenzo. Anton should stop sulking and get back on his job. Well, he's not very happy. Lots of people here. Uh, Kiara? This place probably seems quiet compared to the city. But we have our own excitement. Just got to know where to look for it. Oh, we've already spoke to you. What about you down here? Uh, Shanice. Hmm, need something, Sharky? Nope. Nope, I just want to talk to you. Come visit the store whenever you're in the village. You might see something you like. Yeah, where is the store? I ain't seen that yet. Right, someone here with blue hair. Oh, we can't speak to you. Have we already spoke? I'm losing track of all the people here. There's so many. Of course, we've spoke to you. Uh, oh, Pika! Have you visited the cabin hotel yet? I heard they've got some great rooms and a gym if you're uh, into working out. Let's take a, take a look at what they buy. Oh, my God. Omelette. A Aragula roll, a rich fruity plate, lucky lunch is here as well, bean hot pot, nice. We can sell some stuff here too. The large mouth and the cherry, we can make a little bit of money. I'm going to keep hold of them though, because we might need them, we don't know. Who's this? Anton, what's up? Hope the day's treating you well. And we've got a lady here as well, Lola. I'm on my way to town right now to pick up some groceries. I'm making Freddy's favourite stew today. Right, no one lives here as well. <laughs> the houses just seem empty. No one's at home today. Oh, we've seen this guy. Was that Ezekiel? Ezekiel? Yep. Oh, this looks like some kind of museum as well. What's that? Sharky, what now? Speak up or shut up. Oh god, this guy. <laughs> he scares me. So, Kareen lives in that room there. And is this Ezekiel? Yeah. So, they must be friends or family. I don't know. 
Oh, is this, is this the shop? Heaps. Yeah, but we've missed out on this way too late. 7 p.m. by the way, it's gone so, so fast. We have got the, the mod that pauses time inside, which is very good, it's helping us a lot. Otherwise the day will just go so much more quickly. But we do need to come to the shop, I'm pretty sure they're gonna sell something very, very important. Some, it's gotta be something different. But I don't even think we've explored all of this place. Where are we right now? Yeah, we've gotta go all the way up to Blooming Hill Farm here. We stopped off at Freddy's, at the um, just above the uh, Nightingale place. So that's why they're rich, by the way, because they've got their own, they must make a lot of wine. So there's a hike trail, so we can go back to the cable car this way, which we're going to do. We need to go down to the water research facility. But where haven't we been? Starbound stage, we've not gone to the uh, the hotel yet either. Oh, there's so much to explore around here. It's getting late as well though. All right, so here we go, can we go this side? Someone's there already. So this is obviously the other farm, where the chickens? Jerick, Pierre taught me how to be a salesman. Pierre? I'm gonna be the shop in the valley one day. Student overtakes the master, you know? Sure. Ambitious, I like it. So this is Blooming Hill Farm. Obviously we've missed out again. I wonder if you can buy special animals there or is it all just fruit and veg, I don't know. But another beautiful place. So maybe let's hike back onto the trail and get back to the, uh, the cable car and get back home before it gets too late. But this time we're gonna go this way. I'm not sure if we've entered every single building there. There's quite a lot to do, but we've had a good look around. So this is the research or the water facility. Yeah, eight till eight, so they are not open right now. We've got a Jojo Cola, let's go. So that guy who looked a little bit mysterious when he came to Pelican Town and we kind of followed him to see where he lived. He was very, very strange and wasn't very happy to see us, but this is obviously what he does. He's, um, he researches water, <laughs> water research. Right, so this is the trail. We're hiking back. I don't think, there's, oh, there's something to forage there. Look at that. Oh, we can't get it. Are you serious? Look at that, it's right there. Oh yeah, there is something there, but can we get them? We can't even get up there. Look at them flowers. There's one here though. And it is a Ridge Azorian flower. Another dandelion down here. Please be the same quality. Yes. Oh, another one of them cherries as well. Ridgeside Monkshud. Monkshud. Oh no, I think we've, oh, we've gone wrong. We've gone wrong. It's abandoned house. Where are we? How did we miss this? I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm lost. Oh my God, where, where do we go, where do we go? Right, oh my God, I see street lights. That was crazy, I, I literally thought I got lost there. Midnight and we're going back, please don't be. I was gonna say, I hope it's not closed at a certain time, otherwise we'll be stuck. But we're going back, it's night time now, look at that. So that was Ridgeside Village. We spent all day there. That's how huge the place is. But I did want to do it. So now a lot of you guys, oh, someone's just gone on the bus. That is crazy. So now you've seen Ridgeside Village. We probably won't go there too much, but we will go and visit every now and then. There is still another town that we need to visit as well, the seaside town. That was absolutely wild. Right, for now, let's just sleep and we'll get started on a new day. These days take so long to play through now. That was like 30 minutes for one day. Level two farming, we can get mayonnaise machine. The sprinklers now, oh, they've changed a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm a massive fan of that. I'm gonna have to change that back, I don't know. And stone fences. I made a little bit of money, money, money. So Friday here, the 12th of spring. The weather is festival tomorrow. Of course, it's the strobs. Yeah, we've not got much money either because I don't know what to sell. It's already the 12th. Maybe we've still got enough time to get any potatoes or parsnips if we do need them. Mayor Lewis, yeah, egg festival tomorrow. So maybe, oh, we've got some spring stuff here as well that we do need. We've got some cabbage. We need to sell some stuff, guys, ready for tomorrow. So we've just leveled up. Was that farming again? Or was that forage? Like right, garden sage. No, I don't want to eat that. And some more of this forage here. Lots of horseradish, which we do, do really need. So let's just, we need to start selling some stuff here. So what is it that we need for this now? We need horseradish and daffodils. We don't need leeks or dandelions, okay. The thing is, don't it need to be all the same quality as well? So we're gonna need 15, but is it gonna be, does it matter on the quality? Maybe not, I don't know. We have got some more spring seeds that I can plant. We're gonna probably need those as well. But I do need to start selling some things though, like these flowers maybe, but they might make good gifts too. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna like those. 
It's hard. What do we sell? What do we keep? Oh my god. We need to make some money so we can get some, obviously, more money. We can turn it into more money. I just don't know what to keep or sell. It's so hard. So I've got a few things on me that I'm going to actually use for gifts today. I'm going to try and just get to know people a bit more and see what they actually would take as a gift. You know, I could look at the wiki, but for some reason, it excites me knowing that. I don't know if that makes sense. I like to, to try and learn about them myself. So if I give them a flower and they hate it, at least I know that I won't give it them again, you know? So I'm going to water the rest of these crops. We've still got quite a lot of potatoes in the ground. But I've kept 15 of each potato, potatoes and parsnip because it usually asks for around 15. If you notice here, it's asking for 15 of these. It could be more, but I've still got time to grow more if we need to. So I've also decided I'm not going to craft the normal sprinklers. I'm going to wait until farming level 6 which shouldn't take long with all the crops that we've got. And I'm going to start, you know, getting the quality ones where I can put them in the middle like this. And we've got a very, very good layout then of this kind of grid pattern. So I think fishing is going to be good. Once I've bought the strawberry seeds, the next time I get a decent amount of money, I'm going to upgrade the fishing rod. That's the first thing I'm going to do. We don't really need to worry about the backpack upgrade too much because I can use chests and take them with me if I need to, especially when I'm fishing. So let's get, just go around town, do some foraging, give some gifts to people, start working on that friendship. One thing that we can also do today is maybe go to the library and we've got some things that we can donate that's going to be quite good. Geodes might be good to break open today, see what items we can get from those. Yeah, we've got quite a bit to do. Let's, let's get on with it. Let's give Rocky Boy a good love as well. All right, mate, there we go. Enjoy, enjoy. Oh yeah, I've been mean to get rid of this. There we go. I'll be back later, Rocky. Take care of the farm. I'm going the wrong way. I would check the cave, but I just feel like we've got, <laughs> we've got no space right now. Especially when he picks snails up all the time. God damn it. Does anybody else like snails, or is it just Vincent? Right, if Linus is here, he's quite easy to gift. You know, he likes a lot of spring stuff, so I'm just going to give him something that we've got, maybe. I would like that wild bait recipe. I think that'd be kind of cool. Please don't destroy my tent. All right, Linus, relax, relax. God damn it. It's happened before. Right, do you want a leak? You've already given... He's had two gifts this week, guys. He's had two gifts this week. Also, a lot of you guys said, uh, well, suggested that we get good friends with the wizard because apparently his story and his dialogue is really good. It's a lot more advanced now as well. And it's quite good to, to dive into, apparently. So I'd love to do that. Can I just see something here? I want to check to see if you can add different qualities here. Because the daffodils... No, it can't be, can it? It's all got to be the same quality. All right. So we have got Isabel here today. Was it her birthday yesterday? Yeah, we missed it. I hope she likes it. I also bought a sleek dress for myself. You have to come tomorrow to see it. Like, shall we give her something? What about this flower? Thank you. This is generous of you. Okay, so she enjoyed that. I always forget what Haley likes and doesn't like. Haley's ignoring you. Well, she's not having anything now. <laughs> Stuff you! We're actually finding a lot of daffodils here. Which is good, because we need them. Right, let's go and see if Olivia's home. Uh, yes, yeah, she is. So, we gave her something last episode, and it was not very good. She hated it. So, let's take a look at Olivia again. I mean, it's her birthday in the next episode, so she's fine. But... We need to know that she, yeah, she really doesn't like daffodils. So we're staying away from those. I'm thinking this purple flower here is silver quality as well. Let's have a look. This is so thoughtful of you, sweetie. Thank you. Okay, she doesn't love it, but we know it's something that she likes. Oh, here's her son. Apparently, he's not too pleased if we start to date Olivia. He's not going to be too happy. So in the next episode, God knows, when I give him, <laughs> when I give his mummy a, a really good diamond on a birthday. Oh, yeah, he's going to hate that but I'm going to love it. I'll see you tomorrow, Olivia. All right, we need to go to Clint's before he closes. Is this Carmen? No, oh, Kareen. <laughs> I'm not used to them yet. Isra is sure to bring a cute dress tomorrow. She told me she also uh, bought a dress for me. I'm thankful, but also embarrassed. What are you embarrassed for? Oh, it's Ezekiel's birthday. Uh, eggs. Why did it have to be eggs? What? What are you on about? What kind of rotten egg comes up with festival about eggs? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh guys, what could we give him? I wonder if he likes a leak. Let's try this. For my birthday? Thanks. Did he like it? I don't know. <gasps> okay, it's a normal gift. 
It was neutral. He didn't hate it and he didn't love it, you know? So, wow, Vincent is really killing it at the top of there, right? Them snails, <laughs> they're coming in, Andy. Right, okay, we've got Evelyn here and uh, Aideen. I shall be assisting Mrs. Mulner with the flower arrangements for tomorrow. The egg hunt. Oh, gracious, no. I would never participate in that. It's for the children. What do you mean? Never. You're never too young to have an Easter egg hunt. Especially when chocolate's involved. Oh, we've got the recipe shop here as well, but we need the money. We need the money tomorrow. Does she sell anything different? I think some things are different. Hey, Trini. I can't wait for this year's egg hunt. Oh, yeah, we're going to have all the kids this time. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone's popping off. Uh, floor. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. Right. Um, oh, journal updated. Okay, look at these. Um, they've got glass around them now. I love that, by the way. That looks so cool. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Gunther, calm down. I'm here to save the day. <sighs> What's this? You found something? Let me see it. All right, well, I want it back. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail. But it is yours. Yeah, that's right. Give me back. I've got a favour to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artefacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Yeah, and what's in it for me, Gunther? Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. I'm fine with that. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front of the desk. Give me a reward, and I will give you what you want. We've already got some stuff. Oh, Mona's here. I'm sorry. I don't have time to talk. Can't you see I'm working? No, not really. Donate to the museum. So the ancient doll, straight away. We've got the skull. We've got a rusty spoon. That's it. Three artifacts so far that we've found ourselves. Not bad at all. Uh, no rewards. We can rearrange. I love that. I love that. So we need to break open these geodes and we might find, obviously, some new stuff. Whoa, was that Caroline up here? I did not know she came to the museum or the library. Finally, a little time to myself. We do need to become friends with you as well. Do you like a dandelion? Nope. We did that last time, right? I'm pretty sure I gave Caroline... Yeah, she likes daffodils. She really doesn't like dandelions. Damn it. Oh, I'm trying to become friends with her because, you know, we get the tea room and things like that. I just, I'm rubbish with gifts and we've not really... We need something that everybody loves and we can get a big amount of it and we don't have to worry. All these kids tomorrow, look, they're going to be playing the uh, the Egg Festival and we're going to have to try and compete with them all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We better not lose. Right, Clint. Uh, process these geodes. We've got 13 to work with. Ooh. The Dwarf Helm. Some copper. Always good to get, by the way. We need that. Some coal as well. Not that one. We don't need that too much. Plenty of stone. This is rubbish. This is more like it. Okay, okay. Come on. We need that clay as well. Another new one. All right, let's uh, let's go and donate this quickly. Not much space in the old backpack. You know how it is. Right, donate. We have got some minerals here and a dwarf helm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, we've just got three more and let's see what we can get. Okay, we've got another one of those. We don't need that. That's getting sold. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Broken. There's the stone, though. So they sell for 150 each. You know what? Would he like them? We could maybe gift one to Clint. Let's see. Uh, okay, he didn't like it. God damn it. I, I am rubbish. I am so bad at giving gifts. We could have sold that. He really dislikes it. It's crystals. He loves stuff like that. What the hell? I really need to work on the people. Everyone's going to hate me in this town. Right, so we've got Olga here. The Egg Festival is tomorrow. I almost forgot about it. Well, I hope you enjoy the festival. Taking a break once in a while is fine, you know. So there's going to be a lot of people. Is all 75 going to be there? Or is it just the people in Pelican Town? Wait, hold on. Who's that? Oh, Jacob. Hello. Uh, are you enjoying the weather? Yeah, I guess so. Andy's here. Leah's here. Oh, yeah. Right, tomorrow's the Egg Festival. Uh, I wonder if we have something planned for that in the city. Uh, what can we give her? Oh, daffodil. We need those, though. Right, Andy. Do you like a silver leak? This ain't that bad. Thank you kindly for the gift. Yes, he does like it. Right, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. I don't understand why you, Sam and Abigail, participate. Some fear on the kids. <laughs> no, it's not. We're big kids, too. I wonder if there's any more spring onions for us. We do need some. 
Right, I've got another dandelion here. I can't see any spring onions though. Damn it. Robin's lost axe. Let's get it while we're here. I did say if it was down here, I'd pick it up. So I'm just going to do a loop around, do a bit of foraging, at least trying, because we do need all the spring stuff. I want to complete that first bundle, so I'm trying to find right now the daffodils, because we need 15 of those, not these dandelions, god damn it. Oh my god, look at the insects, and they've got no space. Oh no. Snails, you're going. There's just so much as well, oh my god. Please still be there tomorrow on a Saturday, I feel like it might be. Or if I go and grab a chest, I'll come back and we'll get it quickly. So I've come back, I'm going to grab all of these insects that were missed. This is going to be good income for today. Because we are struggling to make money right now, because I'm not really spending much time doing stuff, so... This is going to really help us out. Oh my god, there's so many. Let's get back and ship it. So there we go, level 3 farming, we've got the bee house now. That's good. That might be quite good to start making some big money as well. Speed grow and farmer's lunch. No more skills, but look at the money, guys. That was a good day for foraging. We got lots of insects, lots of forage stuff. The farming as well from this morning, nearly 3k, just what we needed. Okay, so today is the big day. It's the egg festival. I'm gonna go and get lots of strawberry seeds. Well, we've only got 6k to work with. That's not good enough in my opinion, but it doesn't matter because it's still gonna be quite a lot of seeds to turn into a bit more profit and there's plenty of other seeds we can buy anyway. So yeah, today, clear day and tomorrow, we are feeling lucky. That is good news. Now today, the only thing is with the egg festival is obviously once you've done the actual festival, the day ends. So it's gonna be a little bit of a, a waste of a day. So I've got some rice here. Da da! Unmilled rice. We can maybe turn that into something a bit later on. So we're gonna have to do some watering. We've got some crops to harvest as well, but we can't sell them today. Should have maybe done spot of fishing last night to increase the money a little bit more, but it's fine. I think 6k will spend all of that on strawberry seeds. The money that we get, you know, from all this harvest and extra money. I will go ahead and buy some other seeds. We've got brand new ones now, so there's lots of other ways to make money. It's not all about the strawberries anymore. Oh, I love that we can walk through the trellis. It's so much better. And our first lot of onions are done. Look at this, we've only got three. But that's decent. Might have to go ahead and buy some more of those. We'll see how much they sell for. So if I can prepare all the land at least, then we know a lot of strawberries can get in the ground straight away after the festival. I might even have to do a bit of watering as well. I just don't know how much we'll be able to buy. I forgot how much they are worth. Shall I do the maths? Is it 150 for a strawberry seed? So I've double checked and it's 100. So of course, we can buy a little cheeky 61 seeds. You know what, that's, that's not bad. I know it's not the best. I've bought way more than that before in the hundreds, but you know what? For this farm, and the fact that we haven't got sprinklers as well, is gonna really help us out a little bit. So, 60 strawberry seeds, perfect. That's gonna give us some very good money. And you know what? I'm pretty sure we could use a few for gifts as well. I'm sure, I know Maru loves them. Maybe some of her villagers might love them too. The festival's begun. I'm just trying to water as much as we can. I'm probably gonna have to till some more as well. I don't think this is gonna be enough for 60 seeds, but we've gotta to go to the festival. So, I'll do the rest tonight. And at least we're getting something done. Right, okay, Rocky, I'm gonna give you a love because when I next see you, it's gonna be really late. Oh, look at the bees. They're amazing. Just got a few more to water here. Right, and let's go. I think that's fine. We've got enough space to put the seeds on us. 61. And of course, we should take part in it as well and try and get the hat. Let's try and beat all the kids. There's obviously more now. This is going to be a perfect time to meet some people that we've not yet as well. So let's go around and speak to everyone. I know it's a bit grindy, but I'll try and speed it up for you guys. Maybe we won't speak to every single one, just the new one. So Ian's there. Shane, of course. Right, there's Olga and I think that's Bert. Yes, I remember. I'm remembering the names. So they're a couple and your daughter is Trini. Yes, I'm learning. Alyssa, we've seen you a few times in this episode. Aspen, yeah, we know you as well. Pika, of course, you've come from Ridgeside. Floor. Let's get the seeds while we're here as well so we don't forget. Oh, look at the new packet for them. I love it. Okay, so let's just buy as many as we can. 61, like I said. I wish you could sell things here. That would have been so cool. And we are officially skint. We've got no money to our name right now, but we're surviving. Maru, Maru, how do you do? Oh, look at Jody. Vincent loves the festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. Is this Olivia? Look at her with a fancy hat on. Looking absolutely lovely. 
and fancy. Uh, Sophia as well, I'd like to get to know Sophia. I get nervous around large crowds of people. Yes, a lot of you said in the comments as well to try and get to know her and at least get one heart with her because she obviously lives up in the ranch or the farm near the the, uh, the spa and she sells some good stuff apparently. So we'll have to go and check that out. Right, Demetrius. All right, yep. Yeah. Lorenzo. Is there anyone here that we've not met just yet? Charlie. Oh, this is a new person, right? Faye. I love when uh, I love what Emily has done with her painted eggs. With the painted eggs. She has such a nice eye for colour. There is a dog barking outside and I'm going to have to shut my window. Damn dog. Carmen. I think she's also a single mum as well. So she'll be quite a good person to get to know. I think I might be more excited for the spread than the contest. <laughs> it's a nice break from the usual fishing I have to do. Yeah, sounds good. Lyle and Willie. I love boiled eggs. It's a great snack. Right, who are you? Aria? Can you not bother me? I still have to study for my mock trials. All right. Oh, this, there's that Mr. Agua, the water researcher, or whatever he does. Isabel, so what do you think of my dress? It looks chic, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. And Corinne. Is is so sweet. She showed up at our house bright and early to get ready for the festival with me. It was a lot of fun. I feel like these two are very close. Maddie. Ugh. I should be at the research facility working on something more useful than this. Harvey's here. We've also got Jerry. Uh, Lola. Happy Egg Fest. Are you joining the hunt this year? Of course. And Freddy. Freddy and Lola. Right. We've also got Anton. There's a lot of people here. Paula? I remember when Anton and I were younger. We always ran for the eggs. It ended up being more of a race than a scavenger hunt. Are you brothers and sisters or are you married? Jacob. Eloise. All the kids are here. We've got Louis, the posh boy. Sean. Right, I feel like there's not many more. So we're, maybe the rest of the new ones are in East Scarp, and obviously they must not come to the festivals because it's a completely different town. So yeah, maybe it's just Ridgeside and Pelican Town that get together here. Oh, I love this as well. Look who's here. Marlon. Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. It's so nice to see him, you know, getting involved. Irene. Right, guys, I think it's probably time to start. Ezekiel's there. Right, okay, yeah. Let's... Let's go. Let's just go for it. Let's go and do the race and then end it by planting the strawberries. I feel like it's going to be a good way to end it. So let's start. We've got to beat the kiddos, right? I wonder if all of the kids are going to take part or is it just the same? Okay. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities. The annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs. Who's taking part then? Okay, well, we're off. Looks like Aspen's doing it as well. So maybe she's like a teenager or something I forgot where all the eggs are I'm not gonna lie I feel like they moved them what the hell where are they all there's one here we're not doing so good have you found that one <gasps> oh I think we've lost we've only got six Oh my god. I think that's a lot more challenging when there's more people finding them. I usually find at least seven or eight. Look at all those eggs. We're not going to win. We're not going to win. Someone's got seven. Jazz and Vincent won. What? The first ever time Penny loves it. Here's your prize, kiddos. Enjoy. Well, it's nice to finally see them win. I thought I'd let them win, you know, the kids. We don't want to ruin the fun for them. Deep down inside, I hate it. That was tricky. With the uh, visual mod as well, it's so hard to see where they are. Right, 61 seeds. Let's get them planting. We don't need to water a lot of these as well. There's probably going to be some that we need to water, though. Because I'm going to have to dig another plot. But this is nice to see. Strawberries going straight in. Oh, you know what? We're quite close to... Oh, look at that. Only five more? Let's go. Perfect, guys. Love it. Absolutely love it. That's still covered by the scarecrow as well. Have we got any spring seeds or mixed seeds or anything like that? Uh, spring seeds. Have we still got some time? Maybe I could use one of them. We haven't got a leek. No. Yes, we have. Leek. I'm going to use one of every spring forage and craft another lot of them spring seeds. We are going to need them as well because it seems like we need a lot of spring forage. That's that one. And then six more. It would be nice to get three mixed seeds, but I just don't think we're going to have enough time. There's some here. We've got one mixed seed. Let's go. 
It's 12 a.m. now. It's getting late. There's quite a lot of weeds here. Quick. Give me more mix seeds. <gasps> Two. Yes, we got three. Oh my god. We have three spaces. It's 1 a.m. and we've got three mix seeds. Look at this. One, two, three. We've got a fiber. Fiber? Garden sage again and a strawberry. <laughs> Actually got a strawberry. Oh my god. Let's go. What a day. Let's fill up the watering can and I think we are going to go to sleep and end that day and end that episode right there. Whew, that was a long one. We got quite a bit done. We went to Ridgeside Village, which was amazing, by the way. What a place. I love it. What a great mod as well. Hats off to all of the people who worked on that mod, all the creators. We made 1,500 gold. Let's go. A little bit of farming. And it's the 14th of spring, so in the next episode, it's going to be a big one. We're going to um, give Olivia her first big gift because it's her birthday. We're going to try and get some good friendship points up with her. But also, I do want to spend a bit more time working on a lot of other villagers. I want to start building up friendships. Let's take a quick look to see whereabouts we are right now. Vincent's at the top because we gave him a snail on his birthday. And Linus is basically one heart as well. Some of the people I want to focus on the most, I don't want to get too con uh, you know, confused. And it's so hard to spend all your time sp speaking to them. Hence the reason why I put the mod on, where friendship doesn't decay. So Olivia is definitely someone I want to you know, discover a bit more. Get all her heart events and her story. It'll also be good to... Dive into Isabel's story and Sophia. Where is Sophia? I'd like to do um, her story as well. There she is, yeah. We just need to learn about them a little bit more. Give them some good gifts. Alyssa could be a good one too. Delores, I like the looks of Delores. There's so many, you know, I want to explore and get to know. So, you know, we aren't going to focus on one. We're going to put ourselves out there, get to know a lot of people and just see who takes a fancy the most. There's Maddie too. Someone said in the comments that Carmen was dateable, but it seems like she's not. She's a single mum though, so. But yeah, there we go, guys. Look at the white fences, I love it. Look at our garden plot coming along so nice. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. There'll be a link down below to all of the other episodes and the full playlist so you can keep up to date with every episode and hopefully the spreadsheet's down below as well so you can all get these mods and play along with me just the way I'm playing. Subscribe if you haven't, but stay tuned for the next episode, which will be out in a few days' time, and it's going to be a big one. There is so much to do, so much to explore. It's going to take some time to get into all of it, but, you know, there's uh, a lot I want to do. And another thing in the next episode that we're going to focus on is some of the new crafting items. We're going to get the drying rack. It's only f uh, wooden fiber. We're going to get the dehydrator and start creating some of the new items in the game. And we've got to go to the mines because we need resources. And of course, we cannot forget to focus on these challenging community center bundles. We are slowly getting there. We've got more spring seeds in the ground as well. It's gonna take a bit of time, but hopefully we're gonna do it in time for spring. You know, we don't want it to end and we've missed any. So we really need to go and find some more spring onions in the next episode. Salmonberry season's around the corner. I'm pretty sure we can actually buy spring onion seeds and salmonberry bushes if we need to. So maybe that's something we could look into, but that's enough. I'm getting too carried away, too exciting. Thank you all for watching guys. Stay safe and most importantly, stay cozy.